If you look at like the top computers on the top 500 list, like those are typically national labs, the world of government, like aerospace and engineering. And to have a pharmaceutical company now building a supercomputer that ranks at top 35, I think that's a really important signal. The world of drug discovery is now becoming a technology industry. And we've been digitizing the biology data at a resolution and at a scale that we haven't actually seen before. We have this cycle that's really pushing on the flywheel of innovation from data QC as things are imaged in the lab to hit discovery to target optimization. Everything is kind of built off of these high dimensional embeddings coming from these foundation models. As you add more data and more compute to these trainings, the model gets better. We can now represent the world of chemistry and biology in a computer. I look at recursion as like a lighthouse across the industry of this new paradigm of taking large scale, industrial scale digitization of biology data and marrying that up with computers. GPUs and supercomputers in general, they've been in extremely high demand. As the generative AI boom has really uh, taken off, everyone is investing in this area. It's incredibly hard to stand up a new super cluster at this point. We at Recursion, we hear that, but we also like to move at what we call recursion speed. Once we had the supplies, we actually stood up in less than three weeks of time. Oftentimes it's the ones who are willing to take very measured, but very bold bets that are going to see some of these outsized returns and capabilities emerge.